One of the best things to do in Marvel Snap is to correctly guess what your opponent's going to do and counter them before they even make your play. And that is what this bounce deck allows you to do. It's a very budget friendly bounce deck with a lot of options and really, really can confuse your opponents. And if you're ready to see this deck in action, guys, then you're going to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. Alley flying. Hello, Marvel Snap fans. Welcome back to the Valley Snap channel. I'm Valley Fine. Hope you're having a great day. We're featuring a fun bounce deck in this video. And if this is your first time here, we do a lot of deck ideas. We do some gameplay. We do some news, everything to help your Marvel Snap experience. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button for more great Marvel Snap content. But let's get right into this deck. Very fun deck and bounce decks usually based around two cards, either Falcon or Beast. I don't like Falcon yet but beast is a great card on reveal return your other cards to this location uh, to your hand and they cost one less now unlike the nerfs to quinjet these cards can cost zero so you can throw a bunch of zero cost cards in the hand now this is the deck in its entirety we features hood here which is a card that's going to get some uh, get that uh, demon in our hand which is a one six card and if we bounce both the hood and demon, well, we could potentially have two demons in hand, one of them costing zero if we bounce that with beast. We also have Agent 13, another card that could get another card in our hand. We could bounce this to get even more cards. Quinjet is great. Cards that didn't start in your uh, deck cost one less, but there is a minimum of one. Collector is also great in this deck because when a card enters your hand any for anywhere from your deck, like a lot of these cards are gonna do, is gonna get an additional power, especially if we're bouncing a lot of these cards like Hood, Agent 13, Cable, Maria Hill, Asian Colson, White Queen, all of them pull other cards from our uh from not in our hands. So that collector, very, very uh good card there. All right, we also have Cable in this hand, which, like White Queen, gives us an intel on our opponent. So kind of seeing what our opponent has in their hand can give us some intel of what kind of deck they're playing. Maria Hill got a lot weaker. This deck was a lot stronger before Quinjet got his nerf, but Maria Hill is still a great card. And the thing I like about this, we're getting a lot of random cards here from Agent Colson and Maria Hill and Agent 13, which means that we could play a lot of unique cards that our opponents aren't expecting in this kind of deck. So this is probably a great deck if you're playing battle mode as well. Agent Colson is one of my most fun cards in this deck because there's a lot of great four cost cards, a lot of great five cost cards. Agent Colson gives you some random ones and they're usually some good cards and hopefully could give you a win condition that uh, you didn't have before this deck arrived. All right. We need Shang-Chi and this deck to counter any big red skulls that aren't hidden behind an armor, hidden behind a Cosmo. Usually they are, but sometimes people forget about Shang-Chi and uh, leave some cards unprotected. Usually not those Shuri decks, because uh, this this deck actually does not do well against those Shuri decks. It doesn't have enough power to compete. But our big power is coming from Devil Dinosaur here. And all the cards in our hand, hopefully all those cards, we pulled a bunch of extra cards and we have a loaded hand at the end and we can have a very, very strong Devil Dinosaur. We also have She-Hulk here in case we don't draw a lot of cards we want. It's going to cost one less for every energy that is unspent. So yeah, very, very fun archetype with Beast, guys. There's a lot of other substitutions you can make if you don't have some of these cards, but I think the necessary cards here obviously are Beast. You want a Devil Dinosaur. And personally, I like that Asian Coulson, Maria Hill, and Agent 13 combo because you don't know what cards you're going to get and neither does your opponent, and that's a great thing. Uh, obviously, one of the strategies here is filling up a lane, making our opponent commit to that lane and moving all the cards to a different lane. So a lot of fun strategies here, but let's go see this deck in action so you know how to pilot it. All right, here we go. We have a Quinjet for turn one. It's going to transform into one of the other locations. Hopefully, we're going to get screwed with a bad location. We go Quinjet right on Mirror Dimension there. Hopefully there's no rogue or enchantress that can take that away. All right, space throne. We have to be careful of that space throne. I'm going to go with a Maria Hill there. We'll get a one cost card. It won't be a free card. That uh, Maria Hill did get hit from that. Uh, did get hit from that nerf to uh, Quinjet. All right, so we can protect our space throne here with Nightcrawler. And not going to be able to do anything on Miniaturized Lab. I don't know if it's worth throwing down a cable right now. 
Very, very limited location. Yeah, we're going to wait on this cable. Not Doesn't seem to benefit us with our very limited options as far as where to go. Uh, they're going Wolverine, so probably some... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a bad location here. All right. Uh, are they going to Galactus now? <laughs> Oh, I don't have any ramp cards. Let's see what they got up their sleeve. Nothing up their sleeve yet. Still nothing to do. Skill skipping this turn. All right, they are throwing their card out. They go with a Nimrod there. All right, so what are we going to have to beat? A 5-5. Five, five. We're going to throw a Galactus here. Go with the Devil Dinosaur. Could throw this down as well. And that's gonna be about it. Let's see what, what we have. There, there comes their Galactus. They'll get 10. I think it's it's gonna be close. Of 10 and 4. 14, so plus the two. Oh no, not even 10, just the five. It didn't get a double Nimrod. We get a big massive win here. Nice, it's not a close that. Even if they got a double Nimrod, we still had the victory. There's too much power from our devil dinosaur. All right, we got a Quinjet cable hood combo on turn one, Baxter building the location on the far left. Let's go Quinjet on the far right. And potentially getting a hood cable. And if we get beast, that would be great for us as well. Lamora, no cards are revealed this turn. We'll go with our cable here. We'll get some intel next turn from them. Also have the option to hood and... Will we draw the beast? What is our next card here? Random three cost card is... Oh, we get the new card. Let's see what they're running. Let's hold off on that Negasonic. Let's go with Maria Hill and Hood. This would be a great location to beast. We don't have a lot of power there. All right, so they're protecting that sunspot. Are they running some kind of She-Hulk deck? All right, so we get a, we get a Wong. So they are running some type of deck with that relies on... On, uh, on reveal. All right, so where do we go? They have the tempo. We want to try to take that tempo back if possible. Let's let's put this white queen here, getting even more of their cards. Where are they going to throw their Wong? All right, they go with a Jubilee. And they get an Iceman. All right. Good for us. Are they going to go at a different location? There's a Dr. Doom from them. They have that Dr. Doom in hand. We got an option for a Wong. We could use some of their cards against them. And we could go for a big high play of Agent 13. Dr. Doom on the final turn. Although, let's go, let's go with Negasonic here. We don't plan to play any cards there. But if they play something there, oh no, they go with Spider-Woman. So they're not going to use their Wong. Are they going to use their Dr. Doom? So a little too late for this beast to show up. Wong, uh, Dr. Doom on top of Wong will get us 10 power here. They could have that Baxter building. We know they have a Doom. We know they have a Wong. I think we go here. We're probably... Not wanting to go in the middle with that Negasonic there. Only question, are we going to get enough power from Camp Lehigh? We'll have five there. It could throw something big down, but it's not going to get them Lemuria. I don't want to throw this Yondu or anybody on top of that Lemuria. Let's go with this. We'll get 10 power in Lemuria. What do they throw down? How much power do they have at Camp Lehigh? 
They go with their Dr. Doom. They get one Doom. We get two. We get the win. All right, we have Mirror Island. We want to get as many points out as possible. So let's go Quinjet now. And we got our Maria Hills. We got our Asian 13s. Maria Hill, a lot affected by that Quinjet nerf that happened. But let's see what card we get with Agent 13. And actually, let's put the Collector here. We could get a bunch of power on Mirror Island there. The cards that we are running. They're going armor there. Are they running a Shuri deck? What are they trying to protect? Definitely don't want those vibraniums on their hand. A one cost card from our deck. We get the hood. Do I run the Agent 13? I think that we go to safe route. We go Agent 13, Maria Hill. We don't want to play them for the... Get those vibraniums in our deck. All right, so we got a... That's actually pretty nice. America Chavez, a five cost America Chavez. We're storming that location. All right, what will they run? The only card that we have an option to play is Iceman. Not the best card to play. And I guess what we could do is uh, we'll, we'll get a little bit more power with our hood. And we'll power up that collector a little bit. Hopefully by the time this is done, it's not a zero. Uh, it's a zero or better power hood. Yeah, it's actually it'll be got two more turns. It'll be a zero powered hood. All right, they are going to win that flooded location. Are we going to get a thinking maybe a Dr. Doom and Odin, but no, they're doing some other way to reach that location. What are they trying to protect on Muir Island? Not sure. Do we throw it? Let's throw our Dival Dinosaur out now. And let's see what they react with. What do they have? They have an Atuma. It's a nice control play there. I think I'm pretty happy with this final play here. Getting that demon out on Muir Island. Or maybe we've won Muir Island and we just try to play on Vibranium Mines. I think that is the better play. Are they going to be able to beat more than... We're throwing down 15 power there in the middle. Even if it's a destroyer, we still get that... We'll get more power on Muir Island after this turn as well. Pretty sure we're good here. We'll lose that flooded location, but I'm pretty sure we get the Vibranium Mines and Muir Island. They're throwing a bunch of cards on Vibranium Mines. We have 26 power. There's their Vibranium. There's another Vibranium. We get the Vibranium Mines and we get Muir Island. That Cosmo cannot compete. All right, Hood, Maria Hill, Quinjet. Turn one. Oh, and we get some zero cost cards. I like this. So we could actually run Hood and run Quinjet in a different lane and we'll run Maria Hill in this Elysium lane. This is what we would want to pick up, this left lane, if we do draw that beast. We have even more cards. Um, although with Elysium and our lot of one cost cards, it may not make too much of a difference. Uh, we could go Mantis. I think we just throw down Mantis at this point. I want to save this demon for a little bit. We could go White Queen, get some intel next turn. Are they going to play at Hala? Try to win that location? Try to not get it destroyed? No, they don't. All right, so we get some cards there. That is nice for our Devil Dinosaur. Oh, but the Quinjet. All right. We don't get all that extra energy. Let's get a White Queen. And since we already have something in at least, do I want to run this now or do I want to run this later? I want more cards. We also have the option to do this later, but it may be a great card. So let's run this, put this now and take our chances of what Agent 13 is going to give us. Is it going to be something big or something small? What are they running? Going Dr. Doom, are they running some kind of ramp deck? Are we going to see an Electro soon? All right, so there you go, Goose. Scorpion. Don't think they're going to make up that power, though. They may try to reach that location with their Dr. Doom, which can come out now. I like the Beast play. 
Ada Maria Hill out and or we could go white queen again and take all these cards out get our beast destroyed which would be the better play there where are they gonna play let's see if we could figure out what they're gonna do they're probably running their doctor doom now our beast will be destroyed but will that be a bad thing this is already zero cost this is low cost I think let's pull that hood back and get an extra demon there. Let's put the demon on this side and let's go white queen for some intel as well. All right, turn four. They could have Hala. We'll get those cards destroyed. Not the best scenario. Let's see what they throw down though. Maybe they maybe get lucky and they don't really try to push for that Hala there. We get another Doctor Doom. All right, so they're really leaning into that Hala location. We have Doom, they have Doom as well. Option to Shang-Chi that thing. We get our She-Hulk out. I think we'll forego this location. We'll, we'll put the hood out there. We'll get another demon out on our hand. We we'll want to run another Maria Hill. I think at this point, we can throw down She Hulk. We could run Maria Hill later. All right, let's see what they do on Elysium. They go Doctor Doom and an Iceman. The question is, will they try to? No, they won't Odin that. Okay, so that ties Elysium. This probably wins Superflow. Let's go there. And Maria Hill throwing that out to get a little extra power in that Devil Dinosaur. So we should win at least some. They'll have Hollow. The big question is Superflow at this point. See what happens. Let's see what they're playing. They go all Superflow. They know we're trying for Superflow. They get the three points from Wave. They get the Shang-Chi out there just looking for Tempo. We get Elysium. And those three points from Maria Hill does it on the super flow so we get the left we get the right they could have the middle so that is the second action guys it does have some weaknesses it can't really compete with the power of like a shuri deck or some of these high powered decks this is more about control and faking out your opponents but very very fun especially with these random cards coming into your deck that you don't know what kind of deck you're gonna have neither is your opponent and i love that but let me know what you think of this deck let me know what you think of this archetype have a great rest of your day if you haven't already checked me out on social media check me out on social media check out some of the other videos on this channel we got a lot of the other decks we got a lot of the other news a lot of other tips to help your marvel snap experience i will see you guys next time have a great rest of your day guys hulk fist bump valley Flying out.